Hey and welcome to my channel. My name's Claire if you are new around here and if you're a returning viewer then it is great to have you here again. So I've done a couple of clothing hauls in the past and I'm excited to bring some more your way. So the Sheen haul I've done recently went down really really well and today I have done a Timu haul because I was actually watching, um, who was I watching? Being Miss Dudley and she was doing a Timu haul and some of the jumpers and autumn bits she'd got on there looked amazing. So I actually have two Timu hauls possibly three because I have ordered quite a lot. I'll see how it goes. It might take too long to do this in two, so it may be three hauls. But the first of the three hauls that I'm gonna do for you is Halloween. So I went on Timu. We are actually having a little Halloween party and um, it's for my son Joshua, his birthday's in October. So we're doing a little Halloween party. We're gonna be decorating the house this week. So I ordered a few bits for Halloween. So this first haul is actually gonna be my Halloween party haul. So some bits for decorating the house for Halloween, bits and pieces for a Halloween party and also my Halloween fancy dress costume. And then I'm gonna have either one or two vlogs coming up for you, which is just gonna be autumn, winter haul of Timu clothes. So I'm really excited for those. If you haven't already, do press that like and subscribe button to make sure you're notified as those hauls are uploaded. So it's exciting, let's get into the haul. Now some of these things that I've ordered, they were so cheap, like you go on Timu and it is, the stuff is really cheap isn't it? But there's no point in it being cheap if it's no good. So hopefully, I have, um, I've only ordered from Timu once in the past, so this is my first haul in probably two, probably about two and a half, three years ago I done my last haul with them. So I'm excited to see what the stuff is like and see whether it is any good. So let's get on with the Timu haul. So first up, we have got, this is a little Halloween jumper. I saw this on there because I always love it when you see like Halloween Christmas jumpers, but they're one of those things that at the time I never want to spend the sort of money on that I see the ones I really love like for 30, 40 pounds. So, I thought I'd order myself one. Hello pumpkin, it says. This is quite cute. It is a very thin sweatshirt. It's not like a jumper sweatshirt. It's quite a thin, almost like a thick t-shirt material, but that's really quite cute. So I've ordered this in an XL. I'm usually a 12, 12 to 14, generally 14, sometimes a little bit more actually around the bust because I am quite busty. This feels like a really nice size. In fact, I'm now gonna pop this on for the rest of my haul because it is a Halloween haul. So let's wear a Halloween jumper. Love it. Do you know what? This is perfect because part of the reason I wanted a Halloween jumper was to wear to work because I like wearing a little theme jumper at work at the time of year, um, at these themey times of years. I will pop the prices all on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head and I don't want to sit here with a list. I just want to get through the stuff. So I will pop the prices on the screen. I'll also pop the links below for if you want to get hold of any of these products because obviously I'm aware Halloween is coming upon us really quickly so you're going to want to get straight on that. But this is great actually. This is going to be great for work and it is ideal. Love it. So what shall we look at next? Don't even know what I've got here. Oh I know what these are. These are, these are for the party. So I have two of these. I believe I ordered two different colours and these are just for Josh's party. Um, we do have a Halloween box of stuff because we've done a couple of Halloween parties before. So these are great for just collecting. So as you go on through the years, you've got all your stuff ready to do your Halloween parties. So these are ideal just for some crisps or some picky bits on Halloween, some sweeties. Little, they are plastic and then you've got little spiders around the web. So they are quite cute. Good size as well for snacky table at Halloween. Next up, I ordered some Halloween cups. These look perfect for the purpose, you know, for kids party. Hmm. They're a little bit squashed and have got a little bit of a rough edge on this one. But to be fair, for a little Halloween party, I've got three in the yellow, three orange and some clear ones and purple ones. So it's a set of three, six, nine, twelve. A set of twelve, you've got ghosty this cute one that says hey boo and it's got like your little ghosties and skulls around it then we have the orange one which is trick or treat with the pumpkins kids are gonna love these and like i say the quality is not amazing but they are sort of they're fine for what they're needed for then we've got happy halloween in the purple one with the bats and then the skeleton around that side followed by the green one, which is spooky season. 
and you've got this little monster and then sort of a graveyard scene around it and your black cat on that side. So I think they're really quite cute actually. Perfect for Jay's party. They will do the job. So next up, I've got four of these. I bought these. Joshie's having some friends around for a little play date for his birthday. Um, and I thought these are quite cute because kids love a squishy, don't they? So it is a pumpkin. Ah! It's a pumpkin squishy. And he has a little ghost come out of him. How cute is that? That is cute, isn't it? Very cute. Yeah. So <laughs> the boys have each got one of these. Are they all the same? They've all got a little ghosty come out of them. Oh, I think they're really sweet. I think um, when I was looking on, so I picked these up for Halloween, but there was so much stuff that I've saved um, for Christmas. Lots of little bits and pieces like this, which will make great stocking fillers. So I will be doing a Christmas tea move haul next because I saved a shed load of stuff on there. Like, you know, when we like to do a little stocking for the boys in the morning and they come in our room, but it's hard to fill it up nowadays, but just little novelty bits like this are great. So yeah, there's my little pumpkins, love them. I ordered, this is a wreath, I think, for my front door. I know everyone goes for those beautiful autumn ones, but we're having a Halloween theme, so we've gone more spooky and kid-friendly. And this, <laughs> I'm gonna put this on for when Mark comes home. He'll be, he'll love it when he walks in. Oh, that's cute. It is a door wreath. So you've got the little witch's hat at the top here. And then it's tinsel with all the little baubles, little pumpkin -y bits, and then we've got the witch's legs dangling down there. I really like that actually, I think that's dead sweet. Yeah, that's going on the door. I'm really happy so far with all these little Halloween bits and pieces. They're ideal when you don't want to spend too much money because it just costs a fortune buying all this sort of stuff, doesn't it? When you want to do the decorating and that, but you don't want to spend a fortune. So next up, I've got quite a bit of this. I can't remember how many meters it was, but it is just warning tape which I'll probably put over some doorways or the patio doors or something. Again, just that Halloween decorations. Then here I've got two packs of these. These are Halloween balloons, I believe. Some, oh yeah, so that you've got the balloons and there's some little ribbon in there for putting them up. The balloons have all got different Halloween pictures on. So on these ones, We've got spider's webs, spider and a spider web. And then some have got pumpkins, they're all different. So they're quite cool. Hopefully if I get time, I'm gonna actually decorate today. So I'll show you like some little pictures of these up, but yeah, another nice little Halloween decoration. Next up, I have got a Halloween doormat. Again, you see people put their doormats out, look really cute, but I don't wanna spend 15 quid on a doormat for Halloween. <laughs> I haven't even got a normal doormat at the moment. Right, this is a bit flimsy, but it's quite fun and it'll do for a little indoor doormat if I can straighten it out so everyone doesn't trip over it. Happy Halloween. Yeah, that's sweet. Has got grippy bits on the back, so we'll see how that goes down and if it is heavy enough to actually lay itself flat is what the most important thing is. I'll give it a little roll the other way. I think it was about Hmm, I want to say about four or five pounds, not too bad. But yeah, it's quite a sweet little decorative mat. Then we have, what have we got in here? Um, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was. It's a little, again, snack bowl holder. I what I'm going to put in that dish, I don't really know. Um, I think this will be going back, to be honest. That's, that's, that's a bit pathetic. I don't know what I'm going to put in that. It's not even worth putting a couple of sweets in. The hand is really cool. I mean, I should have read the measurements a bit better. That hand is really cool, and I love that. If the dish was a little bigger, maybe I could just use the hand for decoration. That is quite cool. But what would I put in it? Maybe a little pumpkin or something? Because, yeah, the hand is nice. This is kind of a ceramic. Is it ceramic or is it plastic? It feels cool like it's made of something ceramic, but it's not. Oh, that looks quite cool that way as a decoration. That might be quite good. Will it stand? Oh, it won't stand. That's unfortunate because that would have been cool. Yeah, I really i am disappointed with this because I love that hand. But this little, I mean, it's just to give you a comparison to a cup. 
Um, there's not really anything you can put in that, is there? Maybe a dip. Could put ketchup in it. Yeah. I like the cup and I like the idea. It stands up okay, but yeah. I think I'm going to put that on my returns list. I can't remember how much it was, but I don't feel... I don't feel like that's something that's going to get used. Send you back. Way too small. Okay, so that's our first disappointing item. Everything else has been good. I'm just going to pop that back in the box. What is next? So next up, I've got a Halloween tablecloth. Or runner. It's a runner. This is nice. Halloween table runner. So I can't remember, I think I bought this with the idea of putting it either over my table or over the island. I think it'll go over my table. But that is quite cute for Halloween. I like that. It's just sort of a silky, satiny type material. Yeah, cool. Happy with that one. I ordered all this stuff before I went away. So it's been actually sitting around for quite a while. I've, I've totally forgotten what I've got. So I ordered these because the boys love, is it Friday night at Freddy's, something like that. These look quite cool. I'm not sure. I thought they were decorations, but they look like they might be masks. So I got them to be like a decoration on the side, but the boys would probably actually quite like these for masks. Let's see, they're supposed to light up. So I have got the lights that go inside. Where do they plug it off? Here. I need some batteries. What have I got here? A little ghosty thing, I think. <laughs> so this is a little hanging ghost. I've only got one of these. I feel like he's quite small. He could have done with a few friends. But he's really cute to hang up. I'm not sure how much that was. But that'll hang somewhere. Just a little flashy ghost. I feel like he needs puffing out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the lights change. Got lots of different settings, so you can have them flashing or just on. There we go. Little hangy ghosty. So he's not very big, but these are quite cute. And from what I remember, these were quite cheap. So I think like three or four of them hanging in a corner would be quite sweet. Okay, so the last thing I've got coming up is actually my Halloween outfit. I will try this on and show you. So this is like, it's hard to show you right up close. It is like a gowned dress. So it has got the corsety bit on both sides and then long sleeves. And then we've got a hood. So it's kind of just like a witchy black outfit dress. It is longer at the back than the front. I'm gonna try it on, that'll be the easier way to show you. So this is my black dress, so visualize what my outfit, I'm kind of going for a, I don't know, I don't really know what I'm going for, but it looks like it all went together when I ordered it. I'm missing, had a little pack of tattoos. Here we go, so I've ordered this mini pack of instant tattoos, which I was gonna pop somewhere on my face. Let me open them, because it's right and over the packet so you won't be able to see them. So I've ordered these instant tattoos to pop on my face. If you don't fancy trying to do your face paint them for Halloween, I guess they're quite a good idea, but the proof will be in the pudding of whether they do work or not. Then I've also ordered these little black lacy gloves. It all looks a bit spooky, a little bit like Adam's family-ish, Morticia, but not quite Morticia. Failing this, if this outfit doesn't work, I do have my Maleficent, which is my go-to Halloween outfit. These cute little, I like little hand mitts that goes over the middle finger. These little accessories really weren't much, but I think they they just add that little Halloween vibe. So I've got a pair of those. I think they're quite cute. I'm sure these were like 75p or something ridiculous. I might be thinking incorrectly, but I will, like I say, put the price on the screen. I quite like that. Um, so they are my little hand bits. I'm going to try it on in a minute. I love getting dressed up. <laughs> um, then I've ordered this little choker. There was loads of bits and pieces on there for Halloween, like for if you wanted to get dressed up and sort of an outfit that you can make look 
reasonably good but Halloweenified. So I've got this little choker. Again, this was not very much. I wouldn't have ordered it if it was more than a couple of quid um, to go with my outfit. And then the finishing piece to top it off, I have some hair. Oh, I thought I ordered red. I've got red and black. So this is a hair piece. Wearing hair pieces and stuff is usually quite difficult for me because I have such thick hair. But this um, feels good. Let me get it out of the net. Right, so here is my Halloween hair. So it's got the red streaks at the front and then the red through the back. Actually feels really nice. And then inside, it is all lined. So you've got your areas and then you've got these clips so you can adjust the size to make it fit your head. Again, I will try this on, but I've got my hair done at the moment. So I'll put the outfit on full, give you a little looks and see what we look like. That's lovely though. Red and black hair, I wonder if it's my color. <laughs> Let me just get some batteries, show you those Friday Night at Freddy's masks and then we're done with the Halloween haul. It's just typical. I can't find any AA batteries, which is required to go in these. I will find some. I can't think of anything that's got batteries in that I can steal them from. I will find some batteries and I'll show you these lit up. So we have got, I think the boys are gonna to want to steal these from my decoration pot to um, to use as masks and I'll get in trouble for Mark because they have already got their Halloween masks. I don't know why I thought, I don't know why I thought they were kind of standing lamps and not masks, but they are pretty cool. I am going to try and stand them on the shelf in my lounge and then light them up as little lamps for the evening. But yeah, the bunny mask and the teddy mask. Really good Halloween outfits. They are really quite scary, I think. Freak me out, but it's a simple outfit for your kids. Pop a hoodie on and pop that on and you're done. Anyway, that is my Halloween haul all done. Now I'm going to clear this up and I'm going to get on and do the autumn haul. If you've enjoyed the video and you would like to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also give the video a little like it helps my channel and it helps me along and it's great to know that you're enjoying the vlogs so thanks so much for watching guys and i will catch you in the next one Ooh.